In this video, we're going to be setting up our auth module and we'll be setting up routing with that as well. So we'll create an auth module and then we'll configure in our uh, components for our login, register, and reset password. And then we'll configure some routing in, in with that and then also set it up within our header component. And we already have links in there, so we'll be able to navigate between all these pages real, real easily uh, after we set it up within our header component. Uh, here is this link that we were referencing in the last video and we're just, just going to check it out again in this video and that is this page right here and you'll find that down in the description by the way. So if we go and check out this page again and click on module on the right and here they show you how to generate a module and we did this in the last video but now we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to create an auth module like this like well the name is going to be auth but now we're going to be passing in a option. And here are all the different options that you can pass in when you're generating a new module. In this case, we're going to generate uh, some routing right here. So when you set this to true, it's going to create a new document, a routing module for us. And we want to make sure we include that as one of the options when we're generating our module. So let's go do that first thing. We'll generate a brand new module. This is going to be very similar to when we generated our shared module. But now we're going to generate a module called auth. So ng, g, and then the, it's going to be a module that we're generating. And the name of this module is going to be auth. But now the difference is we're going to be adding in routing. And to do that, you just add in this option. And you want to set that to true. So this is going to create us another document called uh, auth routing. And here it is, actually. And then over here, we open up our brand new auth folder. And there's our new routing. We're not going to spend too much on uh, learning on setting up routes in this video. I'm going to keep it real basic. We're going to actually vi be visiting this a lot in the next section though. And here is our auth module document. We want to make sure we pull this into our, our main app module. Let's open up both of these. Open this one up, copy this, and we'll pull this into our imports right below the shared module we created in the last video. And make sure you import this. Okay, so we set up our uh, configuration for our app modules. Just save this, shut this down, and for now, I'll shut this down as well. Now that we did all that, let's go and generate the components that we're going to need. Now, I'm only going to generate three components for now. We definitely are going to create more in the future, though. But for now, we'll just set up three. And I'm going to create that within a components folder within our auth controller, similar to like what we did here uh, with the shared uh, components folder here. Now, you don't actually have to do that. You could just create them all within your root uh, auth folder if you want to, but that's just a personal preference for me. So let's open up the command line and then ngg, and then in this case, we're generating a component. And it, it's going to be within our auth folder. And then it's going to be within a new folder called components. And then uh, I'll start off with the login component. We'll create this. And then there's our new folder with our brand new login component. Let's not knock out the other two while we're here. So let's set the, set up the register one as well. And then also we'll set up the reset password one. So up, up, and reset password. Okay, and there's our brand new reset password component. Now, like we did in the last video, we'll make sure it's all being configured correctly within our module. So let's open up our auth module. And what's nice about Angular is Angular sets this all up for us. It pulls it in, imports it, and then it pulls it all into the declarations array. You just want to double check this to make sure it's all being pulled in so you're not getting unexpected errors later on. But there's one more thing we want to do is we want to export all these components. So whoever's using this auth module, uh, we want to give them access to these components. So to do that, you just create the exports array. So exports, and that's going to be an array. And then just copy these and pull in all or export all our components. I'm going to put them on the, their own line. That's pretty much it for our uh, configuration of our auth module. Just save this. Now let's go and set up our routing. To set up our routing, it's going to be three basic steps. The first thing we'll do is we'll go into our, our auth module routing and we'll just add a few links. 
and then we'll go into the header component we already created that in the last video and we have some links in there we'll just configure that to use routing and then we'll need to set up the main shared module for the handle routing so there's like three steps we're not going to focus too much on routing in this video i'm just going to breeze through it the reason is is in the next section uh, i'm actually going to spend a lot of time focusing on routing and uh, we'll really get into the, into that in depth then but for now i'm just going to breeze through it so let's go set up our our module routing if we go back to our project and then in here open up the auth routing we just created and then in here i'm just going to paste some uh, code i have so three links we're going to have we're going to have the login register and reset password let's make sure we pull in all these components and pull that in from there and this one so we should have these th three links added to our routes now now let's go and set up our header component if we go and save this open up the shared and then inside the components we have our header uh, that's where we're going to have all our links open up the HTML and then in here we'll just change these over to a router link and hit tab that's really nice it fills it all in for you and we want to use those links we just created here so we have a login and uh, this first one I think is register so we'll go grab that one copy this go back here paste that in here like that and then we'll change this over to active that's a bootstrap class and then we're getting an error here the reason we're getting this error is is angler doesn't know what this is and the the reason is we didn't pull it into our module so let's go into our shared module and then right in here i'm going to add in the router module there it is and it should pull it in right there so that should take care of the error for us so so if we save this close this down so we could see better and then back in here if we give this a kick that should get rid of that error now let's go knock out the other two the login and I'm gonna call this one reset password actually reset password and this one's gonna be reset password let's just copy that go back here the links gonna be reset password Paste in there, change this to active, and we'll knock out the last one. Login, and this one's gonna be active. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Uh, now we'll just boot everything up. So ng serve. Let's check this out in the browser, make sure all our links are working okay so let's go and test out our link so i'm not getting any errors here like this api is not working the reason is i have the server not on so this is no big deal but if you're seeing errors like it doesn't recognize what routes are or something then you definitely want to check your module out but uh if we check our links now we shouldn't be getting any errors down here like new errors and as you can see it worked right here and it, uh all these links are working okay so let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit let's get rid of this html here uh, if we go back to our project and to do that that is inside of our main html so let's go back here and we'll leave the routes we'll cut this out so cut and just throw that right here and get rid of this actually we could leave this the container we'll keep the bootstrap uh, container that knock everything off the side and just cut this out again all right perfect save this and let's just check that out one more time okay and then we jump around still okay so now that that is done in the next video we're going to be mainly focusing on the html so we'll get all these forms built and that's going to be really simple we'll just copy and paste bootstrap forms in here just change them around a little bit and uh, we'll be doing that in the next video so i'll see you then